So good morning to all. Welcome to the third webinar of the second generation of Aircode 8. The European Association of Earthquake Engineering uh, is organizing the, this series of webinars through its working group 12. The main objective is basically to give a general overview of the final drafts of these of all parts of this new Aerocode 8, and uh, we intend basically to discuss with you the changes and let you know about the innovations that has been adopted uh, in all of these parts of the new, gen the, the, the new code. So for this second generation, you have six different parts, each one hosting a different webinar. So today you are going to present webinar 1.2 related to, with the seismic design of buildings. And last year we uh, uh, presented two different uh, two different webinars. So the first one it was on the 30 of March. It was webinar 1.1 about general rules and seismic action definition. And then on the 8th of July, uh, we presented webinar five about the, the, the geotechnical aspects. Um, it's important to let you know that all the webinars. Um, have been and will be record and available to everyone. So this webinar has is being record, uh, and any interest could have access to the webinars remoted from the website. The two previous webinars are already available, and just for you to have an idea, for each part of each webinar, you will be able to have access not only to the video but also to the PDF of the presentation. So we have everything available for you whenever you feel that it's important to, to, to get it. So it was, um, for this webinar, you have more than 450 registrations. Unfortunately, only 300 were available to get the, the link to attend in live the, the, the presentation. As expected, most of our registrations are from the countries from Europe. Nevertheless, as you can see from this map, you have a lot of people uh, registrations from other countries outside of Europe. Uh, if you look to the bar chart, uh, we don't have a uniform distribution of registrations, so we have to work on that and somehow try to um, reach in a more uniform way um, uh, the dissemination of these webinars. And from all these registrations, only 12% are members of European Association of Earthquake Engineering. And from these, we have individual members, we have subscribing members, and we have members nominated by the National Societies of Earthquake Engineering. So the coordinators of today's webinar is Professor Plumier, which is the leader of Project team two, which is related to this webinar uh, about the, the, the seismic design of buildings, and Professor Vaccarano, which is the currently the president of European Association of Earthquake Engineering. So now it's my pleasure to invite Professor Vaccarano for his speech. So, Hadu, the floor is yours. Good morning, everybody. Thanks a lot, Rita. It is my deep privilege to to be here with you today to introduce this uh, this uh, webinar uh professor bento gave a very comprehensive frame of uh, the activity of, uh, of of today you may notice that it is a series of activities devoted to the second generation of uh, of uh, euro code weight it is a, a major document that is uh, shaping uh, the earthquake engineering practice in uh, in Europe and not only in uh, in in Europe. And today we will concentrate on uh, on uh, the new regulations in Eurocode eight regarding to to buildings. Uh, as you noticed in uh, in in, uh, in the overview of uh, of uh, the webinar. Uh, there is a succession of presentations starting from the general rules and then moving to different types of materials from reinforced concrete to, to masonry. And uh, today we'll have a, a huge opportunity to have these lectures provided by uh, the leaders 
in each and every material oriented part of your code eight. And uh, I'll give you a very brief introduction of uh, this, uh, of this outstanding professors and uh, researchers that will be here today to share the knowledge and uh, the insights of uh, Eurocode 8. Um, the, the order of the presentation is according to the order of uh, their interventions today. And I will start with uh, Professor Humberto Varun from, um, uh, sorry, I will start with, with, with Professor André Plumier from uh, University of, of, uh, of uh, Liège. Uh, he was the head of Earthquake Engineering Research Group, participating in more than 20 research projects in earthquake engineering and hybrid structures. Professor Plumier designs a dog bone or reduced uh, a beam section. Uh, very, he was very active in projects in Algeria and Turkey involving seismic design, assessment, and retrofitting of, of, of buildings. He gave seminars on seismic design in companies in many countries, being one of the experts who have built up the previous version of Eurocode, the version of, of 2004. He contributed to the revision of, of the document. He is a leader of uh, Project Team 2 Buildings, and he is now a member of the management group of uh, uh, SEN TC20, TC250 uh, SC8 in charge of finalizing the revision of Eurocode 8. From Professor Plumier, we'll move to Professor Humberto Varun from, uh, from um, University of, of, of Porto. He is full professor and director of the PhD program in civil engineering at the Faculty of Engineering. And uh, previously, he has been seconded national expert of ELSA Laboratory, Joint Research Center of the European Commission in, in, in Italy from 2009 to uh, 2010. He joined, uh, he joined uh, ELSA. Since May 2015, he is a member of the directorate body of the Construction Institute of the University of Porto. And since May 2019, he is a president. He was a member of Project Team 2 for the development of the second generation of Eurocode 8. He has participated in post earthquakes, field reconnaissance missions in L'Aquila, Lorca, Emilia Romana, Gorka, and Puebla in Mexico in 2017. Then we'll move to uh, steel structures, to Professor Rafael Landolfo from Federico Zecundo, full professor of structural engineering at the University of, of, of Naples, and former head of the Department of Structures for Engineering and Architecture. His teaching activities include courses of theory and design of steel structures in the School of Engineering and Structural Design and the School of Architecture. Professor Landolfo coordinated and participating in several national and international research projects in the field of seismic design of steel structures, called for members, lightweight steel constructions, connections, and life cycle engineering. Professor Landolfo is the author of several books and book chapters. He published more than 300 scientific papers, mostly of them in international journals, and he served as a member of the editorial board in many scientific journals. Currently, he is a chairman of uh, ECCS, Technical Committee on Seismic Design, convener of Working Group 2, Steel and Composite Structures within SAN TC2250 uh, Committee, and he is the president of uh, UNI Structural Engineering Committee, that is an Italian mirror of uh, SAN TC250. And he is also co inventor of four patents in the field of steel construction. Moving further, Professor Dimitrios Lignos, he is a chair of Civil Engineering Institute at Ecole Polytechnique Federale de Lausanne. He joined EPFL in 2016, coming from McGill University, Canada, where he was a tenured associate professor in the Department of Civil Engineering and Applied Mechanics. Prior to that, he was a postdoc researcher at Kyoto University in 2010 and at Stanford University in 2009. 
He has degrees in structural engineering from Stanford, Master of Science and PhD in 2008 from the same university. And he graduated civil engineering at National Technical University of, of Athens. Professor Lignos, interesting research involves integrated computational modeling and large-scale experimentation for the fundamental understanding and simulating of earthquake-induced collapse of steel and composite steel structures. His awards include 2022 Raymond Rees Research Prize and 2019 Walter L. Hubbard Prize from the American Society of, 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 of Civil Engineers. Uh, he was responsible for the revision of the steel and composite steel concrete structures of Euro Code 8 Part 1, 1 and Part 2, the revision of the new Chapter 9 of Euro Code 8 Part 3 for the development of seismic assessment models for existing steel and composite steel structures. Moreover, he was a he, he was a convener of the European Committee for Standardization for the development of the new technical specification for characterization and qualification of structural components. Professor Lignos is a member of Canadian Standards Association, Technical Committee S16 for steel structures. He is regularly involved as NIHORP consultant in research to practice projects related to the nonlinear modeling and analysis of structures applicable to the engineering practice through ATC and NIST in the United States. For timber buildings, we have today Professor Massimo Fragiacomo from University of, of Aquila. He is a director of the Center for Research and Education on Earthquake Engineering at this university. Previously, he was associate professor of the University of Sassari, Italy, and senior lecturer in the University of Canterbury of New Zealand. He authored more than 400 papers published, out of which more than 170 are published in uh, peer-reviewed international journals. He is the author of three patents. His Hirsch, uh, Hirsch index is 38 according to Web of Science and 50 according to Google Scholar. He is a member of SEN SC5 Eurocode 5 Design of Timber Structures and SEN SC8 Eurocode 8 and the corresponding it Italian mirror committees. And he is also the chairman of working group WG3, Seismic Design of Timber Structures of SEM. He has been member of the project teams PT 5.2 and PT 8.2, which has prepared a revised version of the material dependent part of Eurocode 8, part one of the structural design for earthquake resistance. And finally, for uh, masonry structures, we have Professor Catherine Bayer from EPFL in Switzerland. She is the head of earthquake engineering and structural dynamics laboratory. He completed her studies, bachelor studies at uh, ETH in Zurich. Then she worked for two years for the consulting firm Arup in London, United Kingdom on projects related to structural dynamics. She received a PhD from the University of Pavia from Rose School. Her research interest includes the seismic behavior of reinforced concrete walls and reinforced, unreinforced masonry structures and large scale structural testing. She is a member of the executive committee of EAE and she, she was responsible for the revision of masonry section of the European Seismic Design Code, Eurocode 8 part one. She is an advocate of open science publishing next to manuscripts, also relevant experimental data and models. Since September, 2020, she is Associate Dean of the School of Architecture, Civil and Environmental Engineering at EPFL. So this will be the incredible outstanding speakers of, of, uh, of today. I am very, very pleased of the activity of uh, working uh, group 12 of the European Association of earthquake engineering for promoting open science and promoting the new knowledge and sharing the knowledge. And uh, I would like to extend my gratitude to Professor Rita Bento who worked very hard in order to, to have this series of, of webinars 
on uh, online with the most respected speakers for the seminars and with these very large audiences as we have as we have today. Uh, I will uh, I will leave the floor now and uh, I will invite all of you to take this opportunity to have this seminar this webinar of today. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Hadou. Uh, the, the thanks is, of course, extended to all the members of the Working Group 12. And today we have two colleagues from the Working Group to share this session. So I'd like to introduce Professor Milano from Polytechnic de Milano and Professor Samblan from Insta Paris, which we are going to, to share this, uh, this webinar. So with that said, I'd like to close the open session. The presentation will start immediately. Uh, enjoy and participate, you all. Thank you. <laughs>